Hey, Robert Garrett here. Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach teachers how to teach students who are in their classroom and students who are at home, and they're going to do both live. And what's great about it is the students who are in the class and the students who are at home are going to be able to see what the teacher writes and see the teacher's face in both locations. So let's get into the video. So the two pieces of software we're gonna to use to make this work is we're gonna use Google Meet and we're gonna use Explain Everything. Okay, the Explain Everything app is super powerful and I did a, a Udemy course that you can go and subscribe to at udemy.com and it teaches you everything you need to know about Explain Everything. So we're gonna use Google Meet and Explain Everything. But now if you like Zoom or if you like Microsoft Teams, you can do the exact same thing that we're doing. We just in our school district use Google Meet. But explain everything is going to be something that you're definitely going to need. So let's jump into it and the, let me show you the two pieces of equipment that I have. All right, so all you need to make this work is an iPad and any computer, right? Now it's got to be an iPad, uh, but as far as computer, it could be a Mac computer, it could be a Chromebook, it could be a Windows laptop, it doesn't matter. But the non-negotiable is you got to have an iPad to make this work. Okay, in your classroom, you're also going to have to have an Apple TV. All right, so let me, let's get to work. I'm going to show you real quick. I'm going to jump into a screen record and I want to show you how, what you're going to be doing is this. You're going to pull explain everything up on your iPad. Okay. And you're going to mirror that iPad to your projector or your TV in your classroom. Okay. On your laptop, all you're going to do is pull up two things. You're going to pull up explain everything's website on your laptop and you're gonna pull up Google Meet, Zoom, or Microsoft Teams, or whichever video conferencing website you're using. So again, on your, lap, I mean on your iPad, all you're doing is explain everything, right? And then you're mirroring it to the, to the projector or the TV in the classroom. On your laptop, you're only opening two things, Google Meet and the Explain Everything website. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get on my iPad and I'm gonna to go to the Explain Everything app. So I open up Explain Everything. And I'm going to start a new project with a blank canvas. And let me say one thing about Explain Everything. There's two Explain Everything apps. The one you want is this purple one, this one right here, okay? You do not want the white one. So if you have the white one, you need to delete it and install the purple one from the App Store. All right, so now at the top right, I'm going to choose Invite, okay? And it's going to take a second to kind of boot up. And I'm going to press start at the top right. And so now what it does is it gives my explain everything kind of a meeting or a join code. Okay. On the microphone, I'm going to mute for now. So I'm going to mute it. And then on my laptop, so let's swap over to the laptop real quick. I'm going to go to explaineverything.com. And I don't even have to log in. Right here where it says enter code, I'm going to enter the code from the iPad, F T G S V T T E. And every time the code's gonna be different, right? So you can't like memorize the code. It's gonna be different on every one of them. But then I'm gonna press return. So now what this does is this makes it where my computer can see whatever I write on my iPad. I'm gonna click allow and I'm gonna click mute mic, no thanks. And only the first time will it ask you that. Now check this out, what's cool is when I write something on my iPad, you can see it's showing up on my laptop. Well, that's awesome, right? So now you can teach a student and mirror your iPad to the Apple TV and the students inside see what you're writing on Explain Everything. But now you haven't yet projected to the kids at school. But remember on your iPad, you gotta explain everything open. On your laptop, you've opened a web browser. Now I'm going to open a second tab and I'm going to go to Google Meet. So I'm going to go to meet.google.com and join. Okay. So now I've got this Google Meet open right here. And what I'm going to do with this Google Meet is I'm going to drag the, the tab out. Notice I can drag it out like that. See there? All I did was I clicked on the tab and held and then drug it out. So now I've got two tabs. So I'm going to present my laptop screen. 
So I'm gonna go over here to present. And in like Zoom, that would be share your screen. So I'm gonna go to present my entire screen. I'm gonna click here and then click share. Notice if I didn't click here, it wouldn't give me the option to share. So I'll click share. So now I'm sharing my laptop screen to all my students who are on my Google Meet. And then here's the kicker. I'm gonna go up here to the green button and I'm gonna click where it says tile window to the right. Now the way I got that option was I just held down on the green button and then said tile Google Meet to the right, okay? And then I'm gonna choose explain everything on the left. All right, and then I, you can grab a, on this bar in the middle and drag it left and right to make the si screen sizes the size that you want them, okay? So now think about what the student's seeing. The student is seeing right here my explain everything board. So from my iPad, if I write two plus two equals four, they're seeing what I write, okay? And they're seeing my face using the computer camera. So here I am teaching my class using my iPad and my laptop, and that's it. And I have my lap, my iPad mirrored to the, to the uh, Apple TV. And so now I'm moving around the room. The students at home are seeing me on the computer camera. They're seeing what I write through Google Meet because I've shared the screen and tiled it. And in the kids in class are seeing what I write on the, on, the t on the projector screen or the TV screen. So it's awesome. I can deliver live instruction to students standing in the room, sitting in the room, and to students who are at home. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a student join the Google Meet and I'm gonna let you see how they can interact with me from afar. All right, so now I've had one of my students join me. So Everett, wave and say hi. Hey. So Everett is not at the house. He's not here in the room with me. And he's gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm about to solve an equation with him. And I want you to see how he's gonna be able to participate from home, but also the students in class would be able to participate the exact same way. So I'm gonna add a new sheet. And on Google Meet, I'm gonna swap over to it. All right, so Everett, I want to solve the equation 2x plus 10 equals 20. So Everett, tell me what I, or first off, Everett, tell everybody at home what you see on your screen right now. 2x plus 10 equals 20. So you see the explain everything. What else are you seeing? Are you seeing my face? Yes, I see your face. And so you can see my face and you can see the my iPad screen. Yeah. And I can see, like, my face and on my bottom right of my screen, I can see my face. Good. So tell me what I need to do first to solve this equation. Minus 10 on both sides. Good. And when I do that, I get 2x equals 10. Now what do I need to do? Divide 2 on both sides. That's right. And so x equals 5. So now, just as easily, I could have said to a student in the class what to do, and Everett still would have heard it, right? So... First, I would encourage you to take a moment to go to udemy.com and check out my Explain Everything course so you can become an expert with Explain Everything. All right, so now I wanna show you my classroom environment. I've got my iPad, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that iPad and I'm gonna mirror it to my Apple TV, right? So here's my Apple TV. It would work just the same if you had a projector, right? So I've got it mirrored, and then I just open Explain Everything back up, right? So now what I want you to see is there is the work we're doing in the classroom. It's on my iPad, I can write. I'm gonna show you, here I am writing, right? I can write the, the word hello. And the students at home are seeing that word hello. And, but also you can see it on the projector or TV screen as I move around the classroom. So remember, with your iPad, all you're doing is opening, opening explain everything and then mirroring it to your Apple TV. That's all you're doing. When you're in Explain Everything, you have to do that invite code, okay? On your laptop, you're only opening two things, Google Me in one tab and Explain Everything in the other. And then you're sharing your computer screen to all your students who are on your Google Meet. So one of the last things I wanna show you on here is if I take this bar and I drag it so I can see more of the Google Meet screen, okay? And then I click so that I can see my options, I can go to these dots and I can click record meeting. Now think about why that's awesome. Doing what we're doing here makes it where the students who are at home and the students who are at school 
can view the live instruction. But let's imagine you have a student who they can't be at either, right? Maybe they're in surgery and they missed the live instruction. They weren't at school. They also weren't at home and they missed live instruction, right? So how can you let them see the instruction? Well, in Google Meet, you can just click record meeting, right? And then Google Meet's going to send you the record link and then you could stick it in Canvas or Google Classroom or whatever learning management system you use and then they could watch it later. So really we're serving three populations of students. The student in the school, the student who's at home, and then the student who couldn't participate in the live instruction can watch it after the fact and then still do their schoolwork. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it makes it easier for you as a teacher to deliver live instruction to students in your classroom, at home, and then record that instruction for students who can't participate in either. If you want more information on Explain Everything, I have a course at udemy.com. You can go check it out. I'll have a link in the description below. I hope everybody stays safe and please like and subscribe for more content like this.